May 1st, 1985, seminar with director, producer, screenwriter, John Hughes. The Breakfast Club was cast while I was doing 16 Candles. I wanted Michael and I wanted Molly and I wanted Ali Sheedy. And uh, Emilio came in to read for John Bendrick, but I was looking for a character whose you know, motivation in life is to be like everybody else. And I was having a hard time finding someone who could play the looks right without ever opening his mouth. And I had Emilio. Emilio was reading off-camera stuff for somebody, and I was watching him. I wasn't watching the other person. He did such a great job. I went over and I said, would you want to play Andy? He agreed. And then Judd, uh, I had a hard time with that one, too, because I had to find someone who was a pretty reprehensible guy who said some pretty cruel things and said them repeatedly for a long period of time and really doesn't get redeemed until the very end. And I needed someone who could, you know, I sort of based him on a guy that I knew in high school who was just a horrible guy, but you just liked to hang around with him. It was like a privilege to hang around with him and get insulted and, you know. I mean, like you'd never leave your sister in the house with him alone or any money out, you know, unprotected, but you wanted to be around him. I didn't have much luck here. I went to New York. I'd heard about this guy that was doing something and making the grade. He was late, and I was waiting around, and Michael was there. Michael was in Catholic school at the time, and he had his, his blue pants and his shirt and his tie, and sitting there waiting for this guy. And like the door, the this office in MC, the door burst open. The judge came in, and he was like, his pants were all torn. And his big, they had the same boots he wore in the movie on. And he was just like a mess in his bag, and he threw the stuff down. And he said, I've been up all night on a plane. And he just turned right to Michael and started doing Bender on him. He was bang, bang, and slapping Michael. And was gone in 10 minutes. He finished the scene, got up, said, I see you later, I gotta catch a plane. And I looked at Michael and, and I said, uh, Okay, I think that's the guy. And <laughs> Michael said, Yeah, I think it's a nice guy. You know? <laughs>